First, remove the installation instructions and fastener packet. Make sure to save the instructions and read them carefully before beginning. The fastener packet will contain shoulder screws, center punches, barrel nuts, self-drilling, self-threading door screws, and self-drilling, self-threading frame screws. Step one, remove the existing door. Start by removing any door closers. Remove the old butt hinges from the door. Make sure to use the correct size head for the screws. Screws may have rusted or corroded over time and may be hard to remove. Remove the door from the opening. Next, lay the door down on the hinge box to protect the door from damage. Then remove the remaining butt hinges. Step two, fit the door to the opening. First, place the door back into the opening to check the fit. Next, shim the door to align it correctly in the opening, starting with the shims at the bottom. Place the remaining shims so that you have a 1 8 inch gap on the latch and top sides. If you have the proper gap, the frame doesn't need to be square. Step 3. Prepare the hinge. There are three set screws on the side of the door side hinge leaf. Start by loosening these three set screws on the door side cover with a 5 64 inch Allen wrench. Be careful not to back them out all the way. They can fall out and be difficult to find. After loosening the set screws, remove the door side cover. Then remove the frame side leaf cover, which is not attached to the hinge. Step four, attach the hinge to the frame. First, align the hinge with the top of the door and center it on the frame. You can move the hinge horizontally to align it with any brick or molding, even if it's not square. Be sure that a minimum of 7 8 inch of the frame leaf is applied to the frame of the door. The gear cap doesn't have to be centered on the gap, and the door and hinge don't need to be perfectly level. Next, mark the drill holes. It is recommended that you mark the top four holes. Drive in the top frame screw with a Phillips drive before putting on the hinge. You may need a stepladder, especially if you're doing it alone. Remove the screw, then hold the hinge in place and drive in the top screw. Next, install the other frame screws. Notice that there are four holes for the door screws. These will hold the door in place until you install the security fasteners. Next, install the four door screws. Step 5. Check the door swing. After removing the shims, check to see that the door swings freely and closes properly. If you need to adjust the swing, remove the door screws, reshim the door, and drill new screw holes through the hinge door leaf. Remember that once the hinge is installed, the door will settle about 1 16th of an inch. Step 6. Install the security fasteners. First, replace the shims in the latch side gap to keep the door closed while installing the screws. Make sure to install the fasteners properly. The rounded head of the barrel nut should face the side of the door you want to make tamper resistant. The head of the shoulder screw should face the other side. Next, drill holes in the door with a 3 8 inch bit for the barrel nuts. Make sure to keep the drill level. Then tap in the barrel nuts with a rubber mallet. Don't worry if they don't go all the way in. They'll pull in when you install the screws from the other side. Finally, install all the shoulder screws on the other side of the door.
The final step is to install the hinge leaf covers. First install the frame side cover which is non-removable. Tap it into place with a rubber mallet or use a wood shim with a regular hammer. Next, install the door side cover, which is removable in case you want to install a new door in the same frame in the future. Place the cover, snap it into place, and tighten the three set screws. Finally, reinstall any door closers.